In this video, I'm going to look at a little tone board that I got from IC Station. This is just a basic bass and treble control with a volume control that would go between your source and your power amplifier. Let's check this out. In this episode, I'm going to look at the XR1075 BBE Digital Audio Processor Amplifier module from IC Station. Here's the unit itself. Let's take a look at the board comes with the little knobs as well nothing's attached to it so oh okay interesting it looks like the switch is missing it shows a little switch it shows a little switch here a sound effect switch and my sample that switch is broken and I don't see any parts to it here I don't see any pieces that have fallen off of it interesting well I can still demo this thing it's just that I'm going to have to uh, jump with this manually it's got a little effect switch down here it says sound effect switch and basically what this is is it's a bass and treble control with a, a volume control and an effect switch and I don't know what the effects do so I guess we'll hook this thing up and see how it works but it's an XR1075 CP is the chip as I connect this one up, uh, you'll notice that it says AC or DC, 12 volts. It doesn't matter about the polarity. You can use an AC transformer or you can use a DC input. And it doesn't matter what's positive or negative. I can reverse them. And the reason I can do that is because there's a full wave bridge rectifier here. So if you're feeding it an AC input, it'll rectify it to DC. And if you're feeding it a DC input, it's just going to go through one of the diodes and the other side is going to be blocked. So one side's going to go to ground and the other side's going to go to the power. It takes 12 volts input, so if I set my power supply up to 12 volts. It has a blue light that comes on to indicate it's got power. I, just, I still need to connect my output here to my amplifier so we can hear how this sounds. And oh, it might help if I actually plug the input into a sound source. So I'll plug this into my little MP3 player. There we go. I don't hear any sound effect difference, so. I have a feeling that that's a bypass switch, so if I turn this on... Ah. Okay, all that switch is a that's just a tone bypass switch. That's all that is. The switch that's broken on this one is the tone bypass switch. So we'll just make it permanently on for the test. Okay, now I can test this thing. Okay. So you've got a treble and a bass control. And my right channel fell out again. They need to use better quality uh, terminals. See what I mean? It's oh, now this one came out. Oh. I can say something right now I'm not really impressed with these uh, binding posts because they're not holding the wires in there very good maybe they need a little heavier gauge wire that I'm using but uh, they're tight but they aren't holding the wires and the ends of the wires are tinned anyway here it is bass and treble 
case. That's a little XR1075 BBE digital audio processor that I got from IC Station. Neat little unit. Could uh, be exactly what you may need for your audio projects. And that's what this little series about is showing off these little modules. Is so you guys get an idea of what's out there and if you're building projects, whether this may be suitable for you. Basic little control amplifier with bass and treble. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again real soon.